Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sean the Buffalo video. Hope we've all been doing well. Uh, so today we are finally going to cover the deck that is supposedly the best deck in the format. It does have its losses here and there. Um, can be susceptible to uh, having to discard important resources to be able to turbo through the deck enough to get it going and whatnot. But I suppose every deck in that sense uh, in every sense of the turbo sort of thing can have that issue. Now, it's not totally turbo because it is missing things like acro bike, um, poker gear, the usual culprits that would uh, signify a turbo deck. I've um, taken a little bit of things from different lists and what and whatnot, things that have won and things that are doing well and made some modifications based on how I feel certain cards perform and how certain decks perform in the meta. So the usual ADP list, um, not all of them are running Jirachi but I'm again trying to pull off the as many switch combos and metal sources and Pokemon catchers as possible so I'm running the 4 Jirachi to Dedane build. Um, I'm running Absol because I feel like it helps aid and disruption against other ADP builds because um, obviously the most difficult match is the mirror match and a lot of it can be based on luck. So being able to prevent the um, escape board Jirachi combo but just by having an Absol in place sometimes can just make all of the difference especially if you know that they've already gone through a switch or two already it's always best to get the Absol down. Um, the other thing that uh, makes the mirror match difficult is if they go first and they actually manage to get their first attachment onto their um, onto their space dogs so if that's the case uh, the way you can circumvent that is by playing four cushion hammers. Now you usually do find this uh, this card in the Lucario Melmetal build or Luke Metal build of the Zacian V deck um, but again I just I want to play the, AD, the ADP because I feel like this is so much stronger than Luke Metal because although they circumvent each other's damage uh, when they've both used their GX attack uh, this still has the additional effect where you get the additional prize which just helps so it's ridiculously busted as far as GX attacks go um, hence why uh, it was the last tag team GX to be released um, and obviously they made a big thing out of it. Uh, we do play one Oranguru because this card Primate Wis uh, with its ability Primate Wisdom does allow you to put a Metal Energy back on top of your deck and then by using Zacian V, uh, Zacian V's ability allows you to charge up that metal immediately onto it. Um, three energy spinner and two water energy, it's not a huge amount. It's usually enough to make it work, so that's all we're, that's all we're hoping for basically. Um, an additional two Marnies just for a bit of disruption because there is only six draw supporters in this deck. Um, and obviously the two Dedane, which uh, that's why that they're there for additional draw support, and the Cherish Balls that help you get grab the Dedane. And I think that all wraps it up for this deck. To be fair, one trying to punishment, so you can reach higher numbers for opponents. There are playing ability charm, um, Pika arm. It helps you get through that because um, then you hit him for 270 through through turns and such helps you get, uh, get a little bit of other attacks off because occasionally you do have to use the slap with Jirachi, give your opponent a good slap in, that's always good fun. Um, so anyway, we're just going to dive straight into some games anyway, so here we go. So let's jump into our first game with ADPZ. Or the ADB, ADPZ combo as I like to call it. Space dogs. Just realised. Got that. that can go away. Sorry about that. 
playing against uh, some sort of mill deck it seems. Always the best of fun, as we're all aware. Alright. Two metal patch in hand isn't great, but we'll see what we can do. And I didn't check my uh, opponent's deck typing before I began, but realistically I hope I'm against some sort of um, ADP match, just because I can show the utility and the helpfulness of the hammers. But it seems we're against some old school Pidgeotto or Angaroo control. Amazing. I guess I was entirely wrong about that with the uh, Porygon. I wonder why that's there. MMG. Hmm. It's going to be somewhat annoying. But it's a good top deck with the energy spinner. That's why we only play a few. Let's see what we get. We uh, actually need a support of the next turn, or even possibly for this turn. See if we can get rid of this memory on MG. If we do, it's cool. Uh, but we will play one of these <coughs> just to burn for it, and we've still got our angry to hopefully put something back right now. I don't know how useful this is going to be this match. I know I potentially want this out there active, so not that it worked. Um, I don't no, I'm just going to hold the hand for now. Um, we'll see if they're playing Jirachi uh, Skateboard build. And we'll just solve this creation here. So what were you expecting from my opponent? Uh, memory energy. Oh, well, a scoop, apparently. Uh, so that's fun. I suppose he wasn't ready for um, Christian Hammers himself, but... That's uh, that's what happens. Uh, a lot of these decks aren't ready for it. So time to uh, time to jump into a game with ADP Z. The Space Dogs. I love saying that. Space Dogs. And. Uh, after the couple of practice games that I had today, I've noticed that this deck hates me in regards to the absolutely tragic hands that it, it, it just loves to feed me. So, can we get... What is this? Wow. Um... <laughs> I may as well get this to uh, take off the ADP. If he if he plays that build, and we're gonna need some sort of uh, retreat. 
if he does somehow get a KO on this. Another Blacephalon back. Really have a Dedenne in his deck as well. Well, it's down to uh, energy retrieval, so, and a fire crystal, wow. So uh, that's a lot of resources gone. <clears throat> Blood for the shrine. Um, <laughs> I need uh, I need an absolute miracle here to somehow pull myself out of this. Um, that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, we are just going to take it nice and slow. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Want to take it off this one with two? To <sighs> no, I don't. Apparently, and we'll sell a wish. And we'll find nothing again. Amazing. Um, grab switch. Uh, we'll stick this here. We'll switch into this uh, to conserve our Drachi to give us a, a higher opportunity of um, finding ourselves a draw support next turn. Heavens down below, we are looking for an awful lot of things to pull ourselves out of this. It's nice that he hit two uh, tails on stage in mouth. Finds the stadium anyway. Cheers, game. I think he realistically should have left that in play a little bit longer to get this to uh, 250 so we didn't have to pay as much energy. Okay, we um, really, 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 really need Amani here to get our land back into the deck. He's got two full powered up of these. That's not bad that he didn't find the ability to attack. And uh, we're gonna have to retreat this and attempt to find Amani. Can we find anything? This is not good. <laughs> this is just horrible, horrible, horribleness. Um, so we're not going to let everything go to waste at least we do get to play one of our metal patches uh, actually we get to play both because I can use this, get rid of this because I'm aiming to attach a water this turn get this on there this, that it's, it's not the end of the world uh, we've prized one of our Dene um, one energy spinner, one Pokemon catcher, and some metals. Metals. No metal. <laughs> and uh, no water. Actually, which is a uh, you know spectacular, just what I wanted. 
Uh, I... Uh, I want to try and bring up the station chest deck. Love it. Thanks for playing. I am going to have to go for this, this turn. I'm losing another Metal Saucer. So frustrating. Uh, oh, thank god. I thought I um, wasn't able to pull off the old creation then. Um, so this. The thankful thing about this is he has lost two energy retrieval and a fire crystal. And we don't know what his prizes are, so we could have prized X amount of anything. Does he have any energy in the discard? One. So, I don't mind using one of these here. I don't. I also don't mind using one of these. What's that tell you? Of course. Um, and alter creation. He is no doubt going to be able to um, take a knockout on ATP this turn, but it does mean he has to use uh, 6 energy. I need to see what this card does. If your opponent has, if you have exi exactly 6 prize cards remaining, and if your opponent Wow. So he's going to take four prizes. So thankful that I've got Marnie in hand. Um, this is just incredible. And he's using another fire crystal, which I'm fine with, especially as I'm going to Marnie him. Does have another attachment on this. It's not looking great. Take your four prizes, good sir. That, that is absolutely despicable as a, as far as cards go. <sighs> so disheartening isn't the word. Um, I think the best things to do here would be to, uh, potentially find like switch combos to try and get as many crushing hammers on this as possible. Um, we are going to. Marnie here. There's one crushing hammer. He has Jirachi and this, which isn't fun. But what can you do? Uh, so we start with Stella Wish. <coughs> um, I suppose we may as well take it. Um, don't know how much it'll help. I think and just been might be better in case of a reset stamp or something. And also because I'm trying to think for it to find as many um, another crushing hammer if I've got one in the deck. Yeah, I've got one more in the deck, so we will retreat into here. We do not find another one. But we do find this. So, all is not yet lost. Um, we will go here. Ah, our other Dedenne is prized, of course. Um, so we'll go here. We need to hit our heads on this. It's... Um, and we've got another Marnie for next turn in case he doesn't get the knockout, which is very unlikely. So we'll take our two. Let's Pokemon Catcher. If it doesn't take knockout, oh, it's Danny as well. If it doesn't take knockout, I'm praying on this, but. Um, he still has a fire crystal left, a fiery flint, he has his giant heart, so he's got to have, um, I think it's 
five, for, so we need to find six energy in total. I think he'll probably lucky egg this. We'll see how his resources go. <clears throat> he must have another switch in hand. <sighs> and they must be a bunch of... Uh, maybe he's found both fire crystals, we'll, we'll see. Wow. And does he have another switch? Pass two welders. Does he have another switch? We have a we have a minor chance, if I'm honest. So didn't have the switch. Okay. We need a we need a Pokemon catcher to hit. Um we've got one there. We don't know if we've got enough one prize or not. Um so we'll go like this. We'll go like this. This. Um how many quick balls and cherish balls have we got? So no quick ball, uh, no cherish ball, sorry. And we've got two quick balls. So I am going to money his hand down, and hopefully, if I can see a quick ball off this, which we do, and we have how many switches left? Um, one switch left. So we need one switch to make this happen, which is extremely unlikely. Uh, so, got this. So, down here the hand. Um, hmm. Well, this actually changes things. If this hits. It does. I think we'll just take it off there. How many metal sources do we have left? Just one as well. Um, hmm. We can't even entrap the sword because uh, we'll be fearing deck out. Or do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Um, so we need to take to uh, knockouts over two turns anyway, so we take one next turn when we draw to one card and because of switch, yeah, okay, so uh, we'll keep these in hand, um, maybe one, touch one. We'll see if he's got it. not find out if my other switch was prized. Another fiery flint. Come on, man. Can he find a welder?
can uh, possibly blaze her for 60. Which does change a lot of things, to be honest. Well, it'll be blaze her for 30. Hmm. Are we top totally out of Pokemon catchers? We are not. We need to see if he attaches to this. There he does. Um. This is awkward if he burn but uh, burst and burns us. So we need to hit through confusion. Can we do it? Because we can't use switch this turn. Um, we just need to attempt to flip heads. And we do. It's good. There's a switch. Come on, get rid of that. Oh, come on. We're like so close yet so far. Um, he's out of fire crystals and energy retrievals. And hopefully he's out of energy as well, although it's very unlikely. Just 12 in a discard. None. Okay. Um, that was a that was a very fun game. A very difficult one. I can't seem to play my switch. Can't seem to uh, play anything out of my hand for some reason. Uh, we'll just get rid of uh, section. Now, will it let me play my switch? Thank you. Uh, so that was a very fun game. It literally came down to me having zero cards in deck. I think I played that really well in regards to my, uh, or played it to the best of my ability in regards to how had, how hard this matchup is with its one prize cards, attackers, and whatnot. And it wasn't a fun time for my opponent having to discard uh, so many resources so early, I suppose. Uh, so let's jump into, excuse me, let's jump into another match with ADZ, ADPZ. It's a tongue twister. And we will call heads. Just zoned out a bit there. We will go first. It's the only deck that I like to go first in in this format. Although not with hands like that, it's not. This deck absolutely loves giving us awful hands. It's crackers. Um I don't even want to use uh, anything particularly, although I will need uh, to retreat next turn. I don't like having an, uh, a skateboard on these things. The crushing hammers will help a lot in this matchup. As, um, as well potentially getting rid of any Viridian Forest my opponent might have. Okay, um, so, unusual. It's gotta be said. 
Uh, what's this? Is he going to go for Soul Burst? I think he is. Wow, already going this guy. Both of them. Seems no one can build an original deck anymore. I've at least attempted to. Um, so, Crush and Hammer, get rid of this, or not, uh, this, we will, I don't want to attack yet, and I certainly don't want to put anything on the bottom of my deck that is unnecessary. Um, so, <sighs> I mean, hmm. <sighs> we we have to get ADP going. We have to. Like, it's just one of them. Uh, so we will. Uh, this muscle away. No, didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, I did. That's fine. Uh, this. Um. This grab metal because it's the if some for some reason he's playing uh, some variation of like crushing hammers or something. Then it means I've still got a water to attach, which is the important thing because it's the hardest thing to find in this deck. I think this could be a mistake if it goes for this because if any of my crush and hammers happen to hit, it's just going to ruin his game plan entirely. Wow, he's pumping through his deck. Um, so he's lost three switch, couple, uh, three energy. I'm just like pointing out the important things. Are we going to see? A, are we going to see the alter creation? We are. So time to see if my. Crushing Hammers can do what exactly what they're meant to. Uh, so, firstly, let's go for this. Get the water. Uh, crushing Hammer. We do need to dig an awful amount in this uh, in this match. We'll put this there. We'll get rid of this because we are needing to Dene. We do need to see as many cards as possible now. And of course, the other to Dene is Pride, so we'll get a Rangaroo. We'll go here. I think now is the time to. No, we need to see six cards, I think. Yeah, no, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, this is the time. Uh, there we go. We have to find a crushing hammer and hit it to have any ch chance of winning this. And we've still got our Andrew. Um, so we do not. Um, now. I think it is best to put this back on top for now. Um, we do need. We do really need a. Um, God, this is hard. <laughs> uh, so we'll get rid of this. We need to find a crushing hammer and hit it, basically. Like, that just needs to happen. 
And it's unfortunate having all these uh, support Pokemon in play, but there's not really much we can do about it. Crushing Hammer. Right. Heads, please. <laughs> That's all we ask. Just the one, actually. Just the one. Can we get him? Got him. Uh, so let's get that away. And. Uh, get our own alter creation going. Now, we have um, Double Metal Patch and Research Turn coming up. I think maybe just for this matchup in particular, the deck could do with to um, Shrine, of punish uh, Shrine of Punishments. That's going to hit nowhere near hard enough, which I'm not bothered. Because he's going to have to shove loads two into the deck. And this is why the, the Crushing Hammer was so important, because he needed a energy acceleration to get going, effectively. So, with this, um, wherever it's gone, this, he can hit for 120, and then with this he can hit for 80, but that isn't enough, so I'm going to get a potential two attacks out of my ADP. Because I don't think he can two shot, it, two shot it on the amount of energy that he's got, especially if I can find another crushing hammer. He's lo losing more energy, so he effectively can't shuffle these into the deck because then he'll find it even harder to find any. That is annoying. But it's not the end of the world. Massive bloom. Okay, right. So, I forgot he had mas massive bloom. And he will shuffle the NG back into the deck. So, I'm just thinking whether or not it's worth preventing Malu Lana plays, which I think it is, to be honest. Um, can't find any switches per usual. It might even just be with uh, yeah, great catcher in, getting rid of these two, these are useless now, take uh, Dedenny off the board, take three prizes, he's going to take four, but at the end of the day, I'm going to put this there, and just in case he plays Amani. And we'll hopefully even get an, another NG off this board. So get rid of this one. Gives him the most utility, obviously. And it, now we're seeing the uh, the true potential of the Crushing Hammers and what they can do for the deck. So some good prizes there, things to find. The Dedane, if he reset stamps us or anything like that. But he'd have to reset stamp and take knockout. Like right now, even with the chuck away of the Alolan Raticate GX, he only hits for 80, so he's 10 short of the knockout. Which, him stopping me from putting the shrine in play is potentially good. And it needs to get as much use out of this guy as possible. So it's finds another energy, which isn't the end of the world. Because I've got um, how many Pokemon catches? One, the one in hand, and we'll see how many are prized. So this could be the end of the game right here if we just get heads on the Pokemon Catcher. Uh, so Pokemon Catcher, nope, 
Um, we'll go like this into this. Put this on here. Switch into this. Go like this. Discard one of these. Um, no use for the Absol anymore. Um, no necessity to attack at the moment. And we will attempt to thin some more. There's nothing left in the deck, that's fine. So, we have played one so far. We need one out of three heads. There we go, game. And that's a good game for my opponent. Yeah, and the concession. So, the deck is strong, it's just unfortunately very, very vulnerable to bricky hands. I mean, the same as any deck. Um, all you can do is try to build it as maximum consistency whilst uh, having some uh, meta relevant disruption in there. So, again, going back to the deck list, the meta relevant disruption I have is the two Marnies for the mill um, game, which we didn't play against in this video, thankfully, because I hate mill anyway. And then obviously other ADP matchups, and it even helped in the Blacephalon matchup, the Crush and Hammer. If they're forced to discard their own resources, then Crush and Hammer helped massively. Um, so, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we have finally covered one of the better decks in the format, not just my uh, other scrubby decks that have been been the world of fun, and I've won a lot of games with, to be fair, but I wanted to finally post up a tier 1 deck. Um, so, again, thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. That'd be absolutely brilliant. If you enjoy my content, leave me a like, and stay safe, have a good day, and see you all again soon. Peace.